Hey guys, Cyber Dragon here, bringing you guys the next part of Berserk. Now I know my views hasn't been the greatest of yet, the latest, uh, but hey, I'm still gonna go strong. I'm still gonna go with the roll with this. Uh, so I'm glad to see Tau Kaka becoming more and more better, at least. Uh, we do put a lot of hard work into these what ifs, so any kind of feedback or anything like that, it like, it's all pretty much the best we can get. So thank you guys for supporting me and the what if writers on uh, my Discord. Uh, I know uh, some of the what ifs I post doesn't have the description down below but i'm starting to fix that so if you want to check out the discord of course there's always a link down below hope you guys enjoy of course let's get on with it now we go to the day of the ua sports festival in the locker rooms everyone is getting ready as deku is changing Todoroki walks up to him midoriya hmm what's up Todoroki? Don't think just because what happened to you, I won't hold back. In fact, I think you're the only one strong, the only one who's strong in this here. Do you think I expect you to hold back? No, I may have lost my arm, but as you can see, I have a new one. As he shows the robotic one he got. Same as Guts, of course. And since you won't hold back like you said, I guess I'll get to see your fire side, right? I'll never use that side. Ever. I can still beat you with my ice. Then I won't need to use the Berserker armor. Since you won't even entertain me with your... Sir... Fire, I won't entertain you with my full power either. Todoroki walks off. Reality will hit him eventually. I'll help with that if that's the case. Hmm, thanks. But let's make him use his fire side. But isn't your quirk random when it comes to erasing people's quirk? When two quirks like it randomly erase? No, it's whatever the previous quirk they used was. Oh, then it will be more useful in this case. But that's only if I fight him, and I can't influence a fight before. Right. Well, I'll, I'm sure we can think of something to help him. Okay, everyone, for everyone we are all waiting for, Class 1A, please come to the field. Well, let's go. So, they all walk out. Everyone sees them and cheers. The only one they are confused about is Deku, because he is currently wearing a cloak over his arm. So loud... Uh, yeah, we know, Chloe. All right, everyone. Please settle down. As everyone settles down, most of the guys, however, in the audience are drooling over midnight. Hmm, it must suck to know your... to be your dad, Chloe. Why? Most everyone is drooling over your mom, and that has to be annoying for him. Oh god, I know it would be annoying annoying me. For one, you're annoying. Annoyed when guys stare at me. And for two, let them look. Only my dad gets to see what she looks like in her birthday suit. Mm, fair. Okay, now. I have your attention. Can the person who came in first place in the exam please walk up and 
to give the speech as the class representative of this year, Izuku Midoriya. Wait, what? What's wrong? Didn't I tell you you had to give a speech? No, Chloe, you never said that. That would have been useful information, though. Oh. You have to give a speech. <sighs> Chloe, you're killing me. Wish me luck, I guess. I wish you luck. I would wish to go back to sleep on your back, though. <sighs> of course it would be that. As Deku walks up to the stage, Midnight hands him the mic. Good luck. Thanks. As Deku turks it with his robotic hand. As he turks off the hood and cho- and his cloak off. For everyone to sta- see Deku. The hundred villain slayer. No way, it's him. That guy who slayed a hundred villains. You think it's true? No way. He looks strong. I wonder if he will come to my agency. As everyone starts to chatter and murmur, all my thoughts. It seems you already made a name for yourself, young Midoriya. Now show them you can be the next me. No, I better me. <sighs> for fuck's sake. Yes, I'm Izuka Midoriya, and the event of the USJ were not exaggerated. I did beat a hundred villains, but also paid the price for it as he holds up his arm. I'm not the one for speeches, so everyone who participates, do your best. Don't hold back. Have fun. That's all I ask. Gives the mic back to Midnight and walks back down. Everyone doesn't know how to react at first, but just claps after he starts to leave. Great speech. Now, let's see what the first event will be. As she spins the wheel, it's an obstacle course. So everyone start to get ready and line up. So everyone does. As Zaki is just standing there. Damn, this is cramped. As Chloe just jumps on Zaki's back. Giddy up. Hmm? Already... Only if you use your quirk to get rid of everyone else's here. So we will have an advantage. And get past Todoroki. And possibly make Todoroki use his flames. Deal. As she starts to release her gas. As Todoroki was about to use his eyes. To free some people. But it doesn't work. As everyone else's quirks gets their race too. Deku lasts. Use his quirk was one for all, so he had to use the berserker armor, which he does. And Chloe wraps herself in the cape as Midnight yells, Go! Everyone's shocked because, well, the quirk- quirks won't work. And Deku turned into his armor, which scared a huge amount of them away. As he dash- lunges forward past everyone, he runs. Everyone can't keep up, and now they are waiting. Some are waiting for their quirks to kick back in, while others are just doing it quirkless. The one others who has their quirks goes as well, though. Who was in front of Deku in the first place? But Deku is just way too fast, and no, so amount of the time limit. He Blitz through the field of robots, getting to the robots, ripping the armor from one of them and using it as a sword. Sword. And continues to run forward, bashing few and then try to get in his way. Even the zero pointer he used as rampass. And when he got to the cliff, he just lamped to platform to platform. After he cleared it, he stops at the mine. Okay, Chloe, I think you should get off here. Oh, I like your cape. It's cozy. Do you want to be blown up? Hmm, thinking. It's obviously a a no. You underestimate how tired I am after I'm using my quirk. God, 
it looks like I'm a simp then for doing this. As Decky just rips off the cape and wraps it around Chloe, holding her bridal style. First, thank you. Second, you are a simp. No, I'm not! You are too. Okay, explain to me how am I a simp as he's getting ready to charge. You're always thinking about me and my needs. That's not a simp, that's just being a good boyfriend. As he lunges forward and running through the mines. Then what is a simp, smart guy? Uh... Fuck, I am a simp! Sir. As Deku is running through the explosions, covering Chloe as he runs. As Chloe whispers, but unlike Sims, you're in a relationship. Uh, I guess you're right. As they got tied for first. So, since the beginning is very different, some people got different placings. So, that means that we have a different type of... The roster of people. Thinking how to... So this time it will be a different type of roster. It is a capture the flag or raid the castle bit. Firstly, they will make a team of four out of sixty four people actually do eight groups of eight that's about thirty two different people so team one after they start to assemble the teams it is Deku Chloe Umaraka Tokoyami Jiro Momo Kiyoshima and May Group 2, Monoma, Tetsu Tetsu, Kendo, actually, Jarut, I don't know how to say this guy, I'm Beastman, basically, Ibarra, Jazu, Pony, and Shinzo, oh, and Setsuna. Now for team uh, group 3, which is Kendo, Yui, Venko, Ken Kado, aka Mushroom Girl, Glue Guy, which is Kenjiro, Sen, and Manga. With says Shinahara, bruh. Now for Group Four, which is Bakugo's group, with Mina. Kaminari, Sero, Sato, Shoji, and Todoroki Nita to say screw it. Because they're the team who hates Deku the most. Let's see, Group 5, just a bunch of extras. And group four, which would be just a bunch of group five, which would be a remaining of class one A and B, which is Hakakuri, Aoyama, Chatoraga, uh, AKA Solid Air Guy.
Tyler and Oats uh, with Ojura as well. This group will lose most likely. So, this is how the teams were actually formed. Now, everyone, build a special team of eight. Everyone, start to join. I'm joining you, Dooku. Alright then. So I assume you would, Chloe. Hey, Midoriya, can I join you guys? Uh, yeah, sure. Kirishima walks up. Bro, let me join you guys. Sure, bro. You're always the manliest guy in class, too. Hey, Izuku? Yeah, Chloe? Chloe points over to Jiro and Tokoyami. What about them? They're my friends and they can help. Mm, sure. Who am I to say no? Deku walks over to both of them. Midoriya, what a surprise. What do you guys want? You guys want to join Chloe and our team? To be very useful? Mm, sure, why not? Yes, we can... So, use... We... So, we can be of use to you, our dark comrade. Right. Wait. We need two more. Momo walks up. Midoriya. Oh, um, hey, Momo. Midoriya, I would like to join your group. Well, this is unexpected, but why? I've seen how strong you are, and I figured you can, you're can you the best option I can help me. Alright then. You could also be useful to us. As May comes out. You! You two! Let me join your team, people, persons, and first places. Um, alright then. We got more... We needed one more member anyway, so why not? Alright, everyone get into your teams. Everyone yells yes. Good. Don't worry, if you don't get a, in a team, just combine with whatever you have left. For now, our events... Is, the event is called Castle Evasion. So the other, this is how it works. Both groups will invade. Have a one group will have a cat. Both groups will have a capsule, or just one group will have a capsule. The other needs to raid it, and in the and the, the other needs to defend it. Just needs to hold the attackers off for a limited amount of time. And the way to win is one, capture all the members of the other group, and the fence captured, so uh, defended can, if the attackers capture the capsule, they win. Or if the defenders defend the capsule, they win. They must either capture the all the team members or have their flag raised up by the end of the match. Now, first groups are Midoriya's group versus Kendo's group. Kendo's group will be defenders, while Midoriya's is in, is the attackers. Now, and when the other team were announced, Kendo group was internally panicking, since she knows how powerful Deck. Is, and Chloe with her quirk racing gas with Momo and her other quirk, needless to say they need to pull a miracle to win. But she seals herself for these two reasons. Because she knows they're tough opponents. Hey, I just want to say, may the best team win, okay? As she extends her hand to the two. Yeah, may the best team win. As Deku is shaking her hand and her eye, his eyes glows a bit to intimidate. Kendo was, has a sweat drop, but is confident and smiles and walks off. Izuku? Yes? I think you should only use your enhancement for this one. You don't want to get seriously hurt before, or even in an accident, be, with your armor. 
fair enough, you may have a point. But Lita is now scared, so she did a good job hiding it. But she... Yeah, but I shouldn't use my gas. For one, I can get tired too quickly, and I still need to get all my strength for the 1v1s. But I'll use it only if I need to. Sounds good. So, what's the plan? Simple. The leaders is demoralized and is and so is her team. If she shows it so we can safely assume she isn't going to think clearly. But we aim for the weak points and we strike it. Momo, can you make cannons and shoot at the top of the gate, bringing down the bridge? Right. Kirishima, you're with me. We will rush them and act as a sir, as the spear tip. And Tokoyami uses the dark shadow to take out anyone who flanks us. Right. You can count on me, bro. Alright, Chloe, you lead a backup team with Mei, Umaraka, and Jiro. We will, you will sneak behind and try to take Kendo from behind. Okay, count on us. Good, now let's do this. So, they get into groups and assemble to the assault on the castle. As Midnight yells, Go! As soon as she says that, cannons go sh- shooting at the castle's wall. After Starts to crumble. Kirishima, Dark Shadow, and Kirishima with Tokoyami rushes. The huge, the wall of the castle grows quite large and flies at them, with the help of Yui and Rinko. Okay, that's unexpected. As they, Kirishima and Deku starts to smash the wall pits. Yeah, this is fun though. Dark Shadow, act as a shield so me and Kirishima can get inside. Right! As Dark Shadow goes at a boulder, Shinohara, aka Shadow Guy, pops out of shadow and gets into the. from underneath the boulder and gets into Dark Shadow. Kind of like in the 1A versus 1B in Season 5. Sorry for spoilers. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Who can merge with shadows? Ah, sorry! As Dark Shadow strikes at Deku and Kirishima. Kirishima blocks while Deku dodges. I can't control him. Momo! Some cannon fire on our position! Make the cannonball like a light or some flashbang or anything to stop Dark Shadow. What? Why? Just do it! Uh, right. She makes a hollowed out cannonball with a flashbang in it. She fires it and when it hits the ground, it opens up a flashbang going off. Returning Dark Shadow and exposing Shinohara. Got this, bro! As Kirishima throws a punch, as Shinohara tries to escape, but hit him in the gut. Capturing him and taping him up. Midnight yells down, one down, seven to go! Bro, I think they are not as startled as we thought. As more and more debris comes at them and grows too. Give us some time. So demolishing them, demolishing them isn't an insane thing unless I took like three of out at once. But that's not the point. Momo, how many cannon shots can you make and you have in you? I think two, maybe three after that, I'm done. Alright, shoot one at the uh, two firing at us. And make them reposition. Me and Kiyoshima will rush at in and take them out. Right. Momo fires at the two who were throwing the rubble at them, but it was blocked by a giant cement wall of words. 
Well, you got to be kidding me. What kind of quirk is that? You say something, you can make something fucking huge? I call bullshit. I don't know, but I can't get at them now. Alright, well, we have to act as bait when the second team takes out from the inside with Team Tomb. They frantically run around to the side of the castle and about to climb up. This is easy. Yeah, too easy. Hold on. As Zero plugs in her jacks into the ground. Maze. What's the rush? I want to show off my babies. As she uses the boots and jetpack to get up there. As she does, glue shot out at her and gunks up the boots and trapping her as well. Is now a 7v7. Damn, they were... They're way more practical quirks than us. I can't reach them with my quirk without erasing our quirks. They look up to see Kendra and Komoi. A.K.A. Glue Man and Mushroom Girl. This isn't good, guys. It's gonna be easy. Kendo said you guys might do this, so she had us guard the back. So, Azara, I know you say you don't want Midori to hurt them, but the Berserker armor would be very handy as he ain't uh, in the speaker Momo made for them to shoot a shark wave at them. So, no, it's way too early. We can still do this. As Mushroom Girl makes the wall grow mushrooms so it'd be harder to climb. Oh, what is that? Mushrooms? It seems like it. Yeah, but they freak me out. As she... Jiro shoots another sound wave, destroying a fair few of the mushrooms on the wall. As she does, just more grows and eventually reaches them. As one pops on Chloe's head. Well... On Muraka's head, actually. Uh, you get it on! As she sh- sh- drops a mushroom. Yeah, Chloe, do you know what we should do? Mm. Okay, look, the mushrooms won't grow on me since I have a resist. a residual on my quirk on my body. So, Jiro, shoot at any glue away. Umaraka, I will get you up there as best as I- we can. Both right. So Jiro keeps shooting sound waves and sending the glue away as and the mushrooms while doing so. So, Chloe, we better hurry before the mushrooms cover you two and your speakers. As Umaraka touches her and Chloe, they start to free climb it, and Chloe uses her scarf. Jiro, I guess, got lifted up by Umaraka. And she... No. She's on the ground still shooting the mushrooms and glue away. Chloe and Umaraka made it up the wall as Kohiro ran off. So, huh? Wait! What are you going, Bando? Bardo? Uma- uh, did you friend just abandon you? As Chloe wraps Kamo up in a scarf while she was disqualified, huh? Chloe kicks her and knocks her out. Uh, great job, Chloe. Thanks, but I'm assuming her friend ran off to get backups. So we better find Kendo and take her out. Uh, right. But here, as Chloe gives gets the capture tape and wraps the mushroom girl. It is now a 7 to 6. Back with Deku's group. Hmm, that's my girl. So, more bubbles get thrown at them. So, you think they ran out of rocks by now? Yeah, but Momo stopped firing to recharge, so they won't get any more ammo. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, Kyushu, I'm going to try something. What? 
What are you planning, Midoriya? I'm going to see how much percentage of my enhancer my arm can handle. What? Are you sure? Yes, Mr. David said it should be able to handle 50. Maybe. That's a big gamble. Yes, but I'm using 50. I'm, I'm not using 50. I'm most using 33%. That should be enough. I'm not trying to kill them. So, well, let's do this. As he runs out of his cover, black and red lightning surrounds his arm. So you think we should move? Yes. As Yui and Renko moves out of the way fast, as Deku throws a Detroit smash, sending a huge gust of wind, destroying the, inti- the entire wall that was left. The, the two men then get away, but... But Manny got caught by in the attack. Shit, Rinko, get them and let's get out of here. Right. She levitates the uh, manga and sa- uh, sa- Oh, as Kendra got to her. Huh? What are you doing here? And where's Koma? Huh? She. Right behind me, huh? Shit, they must have captured her. I I thought they would capture one of you. Okay, okay, okay. There's a second team that's flanking us from the camp and behind us. Shit. Okay. Cover us as... Cover as many rocks as you can with glue onto the floor while I expand it. Right. So, why are you guys here? Aren't you protecting the front of wall? Do you see the wall anymore? As he, he looks around to see no wall. Uh, what happened? Midoriya, he threw a punch and broke it. He is that powerful? Yeah, I guess, but we need to get out of here before they come. As she says that, they can hear Kiyoshima, Deku, and Tokoyami running into the castle. Shit, come on. So, Yui and come to a van as they f- the others follow him. Watch out. There's glue on the floor here, so we might need to go around. Damn. Why can't we do... C- so, they can't completely cover it. Unless we want to play the floor as lava, or in this case, glue. Mm, okay, see if Momo needs backup. And if she's fine. Right. To Midoriya, can you throw another air punch to get rid of the glue? I don't think that's necessary. But can't you use Dark Shadow to jump over this? Hmm, I could. Good. I'll do the same with my enhancer then. Right. As they got to cross, now with Kendo. Shit, think, think, think. And uh, her group runs in. What happened? Midoriya, he completely destroyed the front wall. And the second group was gotten to the castle. And they're on their way here now. Shit. Okay, damn it, damn it. Alright, we need to try to at least capture... To make his last stand to capture them. To win. Sin. Uh, you think we can? Uh, yeah, I think we can. There is just... So much to take into account, but if we set a good enough trap, we can win this. Hopefully. Everyone nods, and now with Totokoyami, Deku, and end up running into Chloe and Umaraka. Huh? Chloe, Umaraka. Well, this is a good turn of events. Now, we're all... Together, capturing them and winning this fairly easy now. Yeah. Wait, did you use your arm or the arm to destroy the wall? Robot arm. Why? I'm making sure is all. Oh, where? Where's the trust? But I think they're down this corridor. 
he points down the narrow corridor with a giant wooden door at the end. Well, that's just saying we're here. Yeah? Now, let's go. As he tries to push open the door, but the other side is covered in glue. I'm really getting sick of this glue. You know, they're blocking the door, but they never block the walls. Yeah, so bust it. As Deku uses 10% to smash the wall. As they walk into the room, they see it's empty. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, this is seriously annoying. On so many, as glue gets sent at them. Dark Shadow pushes Deku out of the way for to for Yami to get trapped. What the fuck? Looks up to see Kendo and the rest of one on her team and on the ceiling. Hovering because of Rinko. Hmm, so you panicked and came up with the best idea you could. Heard. As Chloe uses a bit, of, tiny bit of gas to send around the room to cancel the quirks. Since they're all in the, together. They all fall. Well, we, well, this was fun. As he walks up to Kendo and puts a capture tape on Kendo. As they were in comparison. Mark and Chloe put the capture tape on the vets as well. Izuku Midoriya's team wins! The crowd cheers and Deku and his team walks out of the destroyed castle. And after that, so everything was replaced thanks to Cementos. So, we have... So, now, for the rest of the team. Which was Bakugo's team. So, versus... Mm, uh, one random team. So, I'm gonna make this simple. Bakugo's team and Monoma's team won their matches. And another random group also wins theirs as well. Which the rest of the teams again was again Monoma's team and Bakugo's team who formed, but the fourth team to form the van, the other like three teams besides from the main five we came up with was just randoms. So we had to expand upon the numbers to do some stuff. So there will be 32 people in the finals, making it a lot longer of a match. I hope you guys enjoy it, however. And next week, I'll be posting, well, next two videos, I would say, will be Tao Kaka. I know you guys have been asking for it, and I know you guys love it. So I feel I'll pump those two out a bit more for you guys. But after that, I will be posting the regular schedule of Berserk and Parasite. I hope you guys enjoy this part. I know it was different, but hey, different is better. So, hope you guys enjoy. Peace.